under earning is a choice. What do I mean? Under earning, as in not earning as much as you believe that you should or could be earning, it's a choice. You may think it's because you're on a fixed income. You may think it's because who knows what, but it's a choice that you are making. And until you wake up to the fact that you are the one making that choice, it will remain the same. Hey, I'm Rosemary Lonnie Knight. I work with action-oriented spiritual women to start and grow businesses to six figures and beyond. Okay? I believe that we all get to live free, fulfilled, financially abundant, love-drenched lives if we choose to live that. You are the one with all of the choices. If you are not making the money that you want to make in your life, if you're not making it in your business, it is because you have made a choice. I was speaking to someone quite recently on the phone and one of her things was that she didn't want to charge families. She would charge organizations, but she wouldn't charge families for the work that she did. That is a classic sign of an under earner because she felt like she wants to give to the world, not take from the world. I was like, wait, wait, wait. So asking someone to pay for a skill, a service that you are providing is taking from the world? That kind of crazy thinking will keep a person broke for the rest of their freaking life. Needless to say, we did not work together because she was broke. <laughs> Which is just crazy. <laughs> Ultimately. And, and there you are, somebody with great skills, with, with talents, with wisdom, with, you know, you are empowering lots of people in your life. And somehow, despite working freaking hard every freaking day, you are not earning as much as you know you could be earning. Or maybe it's for some of y'all, you're not even earning anything. <laughs> and it's not funny, and yet it's kind of funny. Because if you, especially, especially if you're someone who is even giving away your, your, your skills and everything for free, volunteering, literally, you know, and at the same time telling yourself that you want more money. But then you will refuse to do anything to actually create the money. But you don't even know you're doing it because you're working very hard. I'm saying this to, to make you aware of what you're doing to yourself, honey. This whole concept, you don't even realize it, but you'd rather be liked and approved of. You'd rather come across in a way that people like than make money. Literally, that's coming back to that example of that lady I mentioned there. You know, she'd rather be liked by families, rather, and she didn't care about organizations because they weren't actually, you know, individual people, she felt, but she'd rather be liked than make money. Though she couched it in nice spiritual sounding terms of, oh, but I'm trying to give to the world. Nonsense. A work person, work man, woman deserves their pay. Wake up. Wake up. All this feeling unworthy of your money, you're devaluing your skills, giving it away for bargain basement prices. I, I did that for so long. So long. No more. No more. You know, craving comfort. You'd rather be comfortable in your current pain than actually go through a transitional period of increasing your prices. You'd rather be comfortable than increase your prices. You'd rather be comfortable than ask for a raise. You'd rather be comfortable than go for another job. Seriously, you are choosing this. Or you're praying, waiting for God to come and save the day. Waiting for, you know, God, because you have this whole concept that, you know, if you pray hard enough, that, oh, like all those testimonials you hear at church or whatever your, your, your spiritual organization is, Oh, you know, they, you know, they didn't even do anything. They just prayed and, and then a miracle happened and this and that and the other. Nonsense. They did something. <laughs> they just didn't really relate in the story or you didn't hear that part of the story. I, 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 honey, I used to go to church all the time listening to these stories and wondering why does it seem harder for me? It's not harder for you. It's, they just didn't tell you that part of the story or you didn't hear it because all you're listening for is who's going to come and save me? Who's going to come and save me? Nobody is coming to save you. You are the one with all the choices. You can pray from now till the, till the kingdom comes. And when you get to heaven or wherever you think the next life is, the, they, I asked one, why, 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 why was I not helped? We did try. We gave you opportunities to grow and you refused to do anything about it because you kept waiting for some kind of miracle to come and save the day. There's so much more I could say about under earning, but I don't like these videos to get too long. Honey, stop making the choice to earn less. Understand what is going on inside of you because there are the reasons inside of you that are causing you to take actions that are keeping you stuck.
You deserve to make six figures and more. You are worthy of it, but you have to choose it. Start right now by going to get the six figure spiritual business collection. Stop accepting less than your worth. Stop settling for a life that you don't even like. Telling yourself you have no choice. You are the only one with all the choices. All the choices are in your hands. Wake up. Go and get the six figure spiritual business collection. It is the link is around this video. Stop waiting. Wake up. Wake up. Okay? <laughs> Much amazing love. Speak soon.